All right, so one factor risk matrix and hedges. This reading uh, takes us towards the risk management side onto the fixed income. And there are two readings, one factor and multi-factor. So this is the easier of the two readings where we have repetition of more or less the concepts of duration and convexity. So the learning outcomes, interest rate factor and identify common examples of interest rate factor. Then the concept of DV01, which kind of looks a little fancy, but very easy concept to handle and uh, how to calculate DV01. Then how to build an hedge using DV01. Effective duration for a security given change in the yield and resulting change in the price. So this part of the learning outcome you already know. Then DV01 and effective duration. Then the convexity calculations. Then calculation of these for a portfolio. And then the concept of negative convexity which exists in case of which bond? Negative convexity for a callable bond. And then the concept of barbell and bullet portfolios, okay, which should also be relatively easier to handle. So let's get started. So first learning outcome is interest rate factor and the common examples of interest rate factor. So interest rate factors are random variables which, which influence individual interest rates along the yield curve. For this topic, the factor that would be causing change in the yield curve would be a parallel shift. And since we are going to assume that the only variable that's changing the interest rate is parallel shift, this reading is being referred to as one factor approach. So name of the reading is single factor. Which factor are we referring to? That is a parallel shift in the yield curve. Now let's get our concept right uh, at the inception. So first, what is the yield curve? So on the Y axis, we will plot maturity. And on the, on the X axis, we will plot maturity. On the Y axis, we will plot interest rates, or we will rather plot yields. Yields. And then let us say you have a, you have a shape somewhat like this. So of course it's a slightly dramatic version, but this is what an yield curve would be. And this type of yield curve is actually referred to as a normal yield curve because for longer maturity, the yields are higher. Now the interest rate risk is that what if the interest rate changes? So in this reading, the assumption is going to be if interest rate changes, then it changes in the same direction for all the maturities and preferably by the same magnitude. So your revised, your revised yield curve would be either like this or your revised yield curve could be like this. So if interest rate changes for all the maturities in the same direction, preferably with the same magnitude, then this would be referred to as a parallel shift. And in this reading, we are going to build hedges, making an assumption of parallel shift and therefore, this is being referred to as the single factor. All right, so moving on. Next heading in the notes. DV01. DV01. Then write down the full form of DV01. is dollar value zero one dollar value zero one and that zero one is one basis point zero one is one basis point and what is one basis point it is one percentage divided by hundred one percentage divided by hundred okay so the simple interpretation of dv01 is 
so you could write down the interpretation change change in bond price in dollar terms change in bond price in dollar terms for 1 basis point change in the yield for 1 basis point change in the yield okay so going on in the multi factor reading we would be looking at partial zero ones we would be looking at forward zero ones good it didn't hit you we different date pe chala gaya kya keh raha tha so when we when we would go on to multi factor uh, reading there would be partial zero ones and forward zero ones all of the zero one actually mean the same thing that if those interest rate change by one basis point then what is the dollar amount by which your portfolio is going to change that is your zero one now let us do an example here so let us say we have face value of the bond as 1000 coupon rate as 12% ytm as 10.50% and maturity is 15 years and the question will say calculate dv01 calculate dv01 okay so the first one i'm going to solve for you what you do is you keep ytm as 10.50 and then find out what is the price of the bond and let's do that up to four decimals So just plug the numbers in your calculator and find out price of the bond. One one triple one zero nine zero seven three. So price of the bond is triple one zero point nine zero seven three. Will you be able to handle this calculation? Now what if that yield becomes ten point four nine percentage? If it is ten point four nine percentage, then what is the bond price? One one triple one zero nine zero nine five or four. Now, will you agree that your yield decreased by one basis point? Now, can you find out what is the change in the dollar value of your bond? The difference between these two. How much? Point eight zero two zero. Now, technically, that's a negative number, but by convention, we would simply show it as a positive number. So, we will say DV zero one of this bond is point eight zero two zero. So, if you increase it, then also the answer would almost be same. It would be marginally different, maybe six or seven decimal. So, instead of ten point five zero, you could always do ten point five one. And so would almost be same. Are we okay here? Now, let us see if we can calculate a duration for this bond, a modified duration. Okay. So the formula of modified duration is V minus minus V plus divided by two. Into V zero into delta y. Let us assume a reasonable one uh, percentage delta y. Okay, so will you be able to do this? Try doing it by yourself. V minus is the bond price when the yield would be nine and a half, and V plus is the bond price when the yield would be eleven and a half. So just plug the values into the formula. Seven point. Two three. Seven point two three is the modified duration. Now, what is the interpretation? One percent 
change in yield will change bond price by 7.23 percentage 1% change in the yield will change bond price by 7.23 percentage are we okay next concept is dollar duration so dollar duration is fair enough we know that 1% change in the yield will change the bond price by 7.23% but what is 7.23% of your bond so your current market price of the bond is 1110.9073 into 7.23 percentage 80.36 so 80.36 is your dollar duration okay now see the fun if yield changes by i don't want you to write this just wait for me 1 percentage bond price will change by dollar 80.36 now one percentage can i alternatively say is same as 100 basis points correct so for 100 basis point bond price changes by 80.36 so for 100 basis point the changes of 80.36 so for one basis point that change is how much so that should be 0.8036 and is it almost same as your dv01 are you following this so in a way all these concepts are the same thing it's just that in dv01 since your delta was only one basis point it is more accurate in duration since your delta was 100 basis point it is relatively less accurate smaller the delta better is the level of accuracy so given dv01 you should be able to calculate duration given duration you should be able to calculate dv01 now what if you were required to estimate duration just by this number without doing any other calculations then your calculation would have been somewhat like this you would have said for one basis point the yield has changed by 0.8020 so for 100 basis point approximately the bond price will change by 80.20 dollars now the current bond price is 1110.90 and since it is going to change by 80.20 what is the percentage by which bond price is going to change and how much is that 7.21 so then you would have said for 1% changes in the yield bond price is changing by 7.21% and therefore duration is about 7.21 and if you have learned to appreciate that dv01 is just a different way of quoting duration then all the hedging calculations that we have learned previously about hedge ratio and all those calculations you should be able to apply in the context of dv01 as well